Okay, boys and girls, I'm off work, and you know what that means. It's time for yet another video. Okay, guys, this one's pretty interesting. It's a little detail about Eternatus. So we got a few interesting facts about this super legendary mystery creature that we're going to be able to find in the course of our game that Z Zacian and Zamazentia are bonding together to fight as well, teaming up, so to speak. Now... This goes back a little while ago to first theories that from one of my close YouTuber buddies, Austin John Plays, covered, which I, he thought was a space chicken. Okay, now some of you guys watching this may or may not have heard about that space chicken business, which was pretty interesting. I think it's Eternatus. So Austin John Plays did actually throw that out there back in June, thinking that it was Eternatus, possibly. From uh, going by the Ben Affleck leaks, the leaks actually said that there was an evil Pokemon coming and so on, and that the two dogs dogs combined together to fight him and that is part of the story that has been repeated in numerous leaks since then and uh, since June dude, we've come a long way and we've got a lot more information and possibly some new images and some new leaks talking about this so let's have a look a little more at this space chicken Eternatus business right here is the space chicken. So this here gives us a picture of the space chicken and uh, pretty clearly we can see a lot of things that are obvious from all the information we now know. That the cloud swirling beside it and the electric coming out of it, the three bolts, represent the Dynamax or Gigantamax form that this Pokemon obviously is going to take, especially when you compare that to the little human beings down at the bottom towards his feet. So that's a pretty thinly veiled spoiler on that one. Uh, so. What we have more importantly is how it looks, it has gigantic floppy feet and has a sort of spiky tail and a sort of spiky head which appears to be perhaps one eye, bigger body and maybe small arms so its proportions are a bit odd and I'd say that that's partially because of the design of this but it's not going to really look like that. We can go by some of the general factors, the spikiness and there's some Pokemon we saw today that looked rather spiky that weren't that familiar from any of the other gens. Let's have a look at that. Pokemon statues? Why are they there? But anyway, why indeed? Now, of course, these don't look identical to the carving into the mountain, but they look like they could be accurate, realistic representations of that drawing if that was converted from that. I mean, if I was to make a rough drawing of this Pokemon, I'd probably draw something along those lines of the space chicken. Now, I'm not saying this is Eternatus, but it might very well be statues. The only problem is, it doesn't really look like statues, like it doesn't look naturally like statues. So there could be some other sort of Pokemon that resemble or that come from similar storyline related to Eternatus. Now that's a big, that's a bigger possibility. And they're probably the real deal. Those Pokemon are probably right there and you can go over to them and catch them or, or fight them or something. That's a theory because it does seem like an odd placing for statues, but there they are nonetheless and that they don't look familiar to me. If they look familiar to anybody else, feel free to completely humiliate me in the comments. Let's take a couple of peeks at some fan art or discoveries made by the community related to Eternatus as well. Here we have another fan interpretation of what this Pokemon's gonna look like as Gigantamax or Dynamax, we don't know which yet. Probably Gigantamax where it changes form. That would just seem more applicable to a main story Pokemon. Uh, so as you can see, it looks just like the space chicken carving, but it doesn't take into much account what that Pokemon might change into if it were, say, a realistic version rather than a carving into the mountain. If we go as far back to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, we also have someone who found this by putting the boxes together or in a picture of the two legendaries. And this Pokemon does not appear to have been in the, uh, in the game, as far as I can remember. <laughs> he wasn't the third legendary. Uh, that's for sure. It wasn't Nez Nezchroma. Is that how you say it? But yeah, there you have it. And that has a spiky head. It's got two sharp looking eyes. We don't see too much of it, but its features are very similar to Eternatus. But then again, that could be just a wild coincidence. It might not even be a Pokemon or any sort of design at all. So finally, we move on to the leaks. Here's some information about Eternatus from a possible leak that still pretty hold holds up pretty well. Uh, this is one of the big leaks, the 73 Q&A video I did. 
and it deals with a lot of questions about the game and it's still this one is this is one of those that seems to have lasted through time and it hasn't been entirely proven wrong it seems to coincide with some of the ben affleck leaks pretty well so if you guys are looking for more juicy leaks that aren't included in the ben affleck one this is probably a good one to start i have a video of that i'll probably try to throw it up at the end of the video but here we have what's the lore behind the legendaries why is eternatus called the eternal pokemon and why would the eternal be represented by poison and ground of all types Typings. Also, what's G Rapidash type? Well, anyway, Zacian and Zamazenta were Pokemon leaders of the two factions that found Galar a fierce war for many years until Eternatus showed up and they put aside rivalry to fight him. Eternatus is evil Pokemon, as in definitely evil. He has been alive for longer than anyone knows and is a constantly source of corruption although legend says he was part of creating the world itself not sure why poison ground really i think because it creates and destroys so one of the leaks in here says that it's expected to be poison ground typing for eternatus which is wildly different from what we expect for zamasentia and sassian but interestingly enough this typing does tie in with a very interesting sort of twist. So we're expecting Zacian and Zamazenta both to be steel type as well as some other type, possibly fire water, maybe something different. It's supposed to be a big surprise. But if we look at poison ground, first of all, poison, steel types are immune to poison. So the two legendaries are immune to his poison type, but ground is super effective against steel. So the two legendaries are super weak against his ground typing, which really adds for an interesting dynamic between all three of these Pokemon. But here's the real gold mine, okay guys? This is the description of what Eternatus looks like. Right here, what does Eternatus look like? You said earlier that it has small form and a beast form. But is it a wolf, dragon, humanoid, etc? Eternatus is a little dog in its small form Pokedex says it disguises to hide in front of people without them knowing it there. Big form is more humanoid kind of like a mix between Deoxys and Lucario, but more scary. I think it is the biggest Pokemon in Pokedex. It is called the Eternal Pokemon. Now, that description, if anything, that description ties right on in with what we see here. We may have seen its dog type form, I don't know, uh, but maybe not. However, if we think if we think of a mix between a, a scary form of Deoxys and Lucario, this this works. This works for sure. These leaks seem kind of arbitrary, you're not really sure if you should trust these ones, and you do trust the Affleck ones. Let's have a look at Austin John taking a look at the <laughs> Affleck leaks which does describe Eternatus and the dog's behavior around that. It completely coincides with this leak right here. The leak that came out about the person who knew all the stuff, now granted this could be a very strategized leak, that there's some things that are factual, some things that are not. Eternatus is the evil legendary. The other will be a wolf who will either have a shield mane or hold a sword like the great wolf Sif. Don't recall its name, but Eternatus. Could Eternatus be the space chicken? A lot of this is thanks to Austin John and his amazing detective work. If you haven't checked him out yet, this is his channel, dude. He's nearly at a million. Help him get there. He does great work in Nintendo. He's inspired me to keep going and try to get my act together over here on YouTube. I've been a little bit lost for ways after my live streaming stuff kind of deteriorated two years ago. But here we are and we're coming back, guys. Thanks to you. Thanks to him. So to finish off the video, guys, we got a picture of what this space chicken looks like as far as Austin John is concerned. I don't know where he got this picture yet because this video hasn't gone live yet, but uh, it is a, it's just a lucky coincidence that we were doing this similar content at the same time. However, however on his Twitter, he'd been leaking parts of the pictures of what he thinks space chicken looks like and whatever his reasons are, are going to be in his video. So go check that out. But he has the picture up here <laughs> so this is it this is the picture and apparently this is what eternatus looks like now i'm it says it's exposed he says it's a conspiracy video which if you see saw his other video it look, it's pretty it's pretty conspiracy style which is pretty cool but this i don't know uh if this is it or if this is just his theory but that's what we got so guys that's it Stop the presses guys, just one thing, when I was looking at this thumbnail, I just noticed a closer look at this little thing right here. That guys, 
that is the dog that it pretends to hide as in front of people. Leak confirmed. So guys, that's a lot of new information tied in with some old information, tied in with some information we don't have yet. What do you guys think? What are you hoping for out of this Eternatus guy? Let me know some details down below in the comments. If I forgot anything important, let me know, please, because I want to put this shit together. And uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. This is a bit of a theory video, but we're putting some pieces of information together. We're putting a bit of the puzzle right on in. So. Drop a sub if you're new, drop a like if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye!